Hello, my name is Don Walsh. I'm a retired naval officer, oceanographer, and explorer. But I'm also one of the first two people ever to visit the deepest place in the world ocean. Well, where is that place? It's the Challenger Deep in the Marianas Trench near the island of Guam in the Western Pacific. The water depth there is about 36,000 feet. My companion on this deep dive was the Swiss engineer Jacques Picard, and we used a submersible, a small submersible called the Bathyscaphe Trieste. That's a lot of big words, but they're very simple. A bathyscaphe comes from two classical Greek words, bathy meaning deep, and scaphos boat, deep boat. And Trieste is the city in Italy where it was built. Well, how long did the dive take? took nine hours, took us about five hours going down, we spent 20 minutes on the bottom, and the rest of the time was coming back to the surface. What did we see? Well, on the way down to the seafloor, we saw uh, a few living creatures, uh, uh, no fish. Their fish were there somewhere, I suppose, but they would just sort of get out of the way as we came down. But what we did see were invertebrates, like jellyfish or shrimp-like creatures. Regrettably, when we got to the bottom and we landed, we stirred up a big cloud of bottom sediment and it blinded, blinded us. We were blind on the seafloor. It was like somebody had painted over the, our viewport with white paint. And so for the 20 minutes we were down there, we couldn't see anything or take any pictures. Pretty sad, considering how long we had worked just to get to that place and then we couldn't see. But we had achieved a, a first in exploration our depth was about 35,800 feet. Now, the one message I want to leave with you is that the oceans are mostly unexplored today. Only about 20% of the world's oceans have been explored. And therefore, there's a lot of room for people to join us in science or engineering in, in the oceans to learn how they work and why they're important. And as young people, I would urge you to consider maybe a career in science uh, relating to the oceans. And there's you know, every chance, as you can guess, that you're going to find new things, something no one else has ever seen before. You can describe it and do the scientific research on it. So the opportunities are out there. Think about it. Remember, exploration is only curiosity acted upon. So be curious. Be interested in the oceans. And I think this uh, really fine book here that you're probably reading is a good way to get started. Some good data there, or well, maybe not good stories, and some excellent artwork. So thanks a lot for watching, and uh, I hope to see you in the oceans. Bye.